following is a presentation of Sports Groove TV and Heritage Sports Radio Network, the voice of HBCU Sports. H-S-R-N, it's on! Woo! The countdown to kickoff begins in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference football season as the conference champs hope to repeat as both Conaway Cup and conference champions. I'm Mark Gray in Norfolk, Virginia, and the HBCU Sports Nation is next. The defense begins for Norfolk State, who embraced the bullseye on their back as conference champions, and Pete Adrian is hoping that last year's success gives his team confidence heading into a new season. Well, you know, it should be fun. Uh, I like to say that the bullseye is painted in bright red, you know, but that's okay. The kids understand that, and, uh, you know, uh, you like to be in that position. I'd rather be there than being a guy that's hoping to win some ball games. You know, we expect to win a lot of ball games. However, they are formidable challenges to the Spartans' throne. South Carolina State is picked to finish second for the first time in five years. Bethune-Cookman was stung by not making the FCS playoffs despite beating Norfolk State last year. And Florida A&M, who's playing with a chip on their shoulder after a tumultuous year in Tallahassee. We hear them talk about uh, that they look forward to this year because certainly there is uh, the band uh, won't be with us for a year. But they said it's going to be a band of brothers uh, out on the field, and the kind of noise that they're going to be bringing will represent uh, the highest of hills uh, in Tallahassee. Well, definitely we bring back a lot of confidence because they, they know we can go out and play with any team on any given day and win the football game. So uh, it's tremendous when you have a team that has confidence uh, to go out and play. We first face having to not be the champion. Uh, anytime you... Uh, play football or you coach football or you do anything in football at South Carolina State and you hadn't won at all, then you've, you are a failure of sorts. So, you know, we got our work cut out for us to get back to where we've been in the past. However, there are several teams who look to make a giant leap into the upper echelon of the conference as Howard, North Carolina A&T, and Morgan State are banking their seasons on talented skill players who are expected to step up. Now Gray McGee understands defense. You know, he understands his role as, as a starting quarterback as far as getting his guys to go. He understands that he don't always have to make the plays, the big plays, the win ball games, just play within the scheme. Gray McGee is going to be one of the best quarterbacks that come through Howard University, one of the best quarterbacks that come through the MEAC. I've been doing this a long time, and I'm excited to start this season. I'm excited to see how we grow as a football team. I'm excited to see our guys develop as football players and as people. So we're looking forward to it, and hopefully we can win some ball games. You know, we hadn't had a quarterback in the past that we could just hang our head up on and throw the ball around on the field. But uh, right now we have uh, Seth Higgins, who's uh, – uh, a real talented quarterback that can see the field, great in size, good arm strength, and we'll, we'll be able to let him throw it around a little bit more. Once again, it figures to be a wide open season in the MEAC where a team could come off the pace. So don't be surprised if at the end of the year we're talking about another team outside of the top five who wears the crown of conference champions. From Norfolk, Virginia, on the road to a MEAC championship, I'm Mark Gray for the HBCU Sports Nation. This has been a presentation of Sports Groove TV and Heritage Sports Radio Network, the voice of HBCU Sports. H-S-R-N, it's on! <laughs>